Hello children, it's a joy to see you this week and to teach you again about God's Word. This week, we are learning about loving one another. Repeat after me, love one another. Jesus commands us to love one another. We read in John chapter 15, verse, verse 12. This is what I command you. Love each other as I have loved you. Let us sing this scripture together. This is my commandment that you love one another and your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another that your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. That your joy may To love one another that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another that your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another that your joy may be full. Yes, when you love one another, your joy is full. Jesus commands us to love each other. And by each other, he means everyone. God commands us to love exactly like he loves. Friends, this is pretty big. Don't you think? I mean, is that even possible? Truthfully, the answer is no. We are all sinners who mess up. But God is pure and never makes any mistakes. But does that mean that we shouldn't be trying? This is what God asks us to do. He asks us to love one another as he has loved us. What does it mean to love someone? Well, you share with them your toys. You play with them. But this does not tell us everything about love. Let us read from the Bible something about love. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 7. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous. It does not brag. And it is not proud. Love is not rude, it is not selfish, and it cannot be made angry easily. Love does not remember wrongs done against it. Love is never happy when others do wrong, but it is always happy with the truth. Love never gives up on people. It never stops trusting, never loses hope, and never quits. I'm going to give you a quick story and it will help us know what it means to love one another just from how we read from 1 Corinthians 13. You are getting ready to go to a birthday party but your parents forgot and now you're going to be really late. What would you do or say? I think most of us would be really upset we might even yell or cry or stomp away. But it is what God, but is it what God asks us to do? In 1 Corinthians 13, it says love is patient. That means we should calm down and wait without complaining or arguing. You see a new kid at school that no one will talk to or play with? What would you do or say? In 1 Corinthians 13, it says that love is kind. We should be nice, loving, and accepting to this new kid, even if other people aren't. 
you have awards at school and your best friend wins many of the awards. While you get none, what would you do? The Bible says that love is no jealousy. That means that instead of wanting those awards for ourselves, we should celebrate with our friends for all the great things they have. What if you were the one getting all those awards while your best friend got none? I think this would be pretty difficult. But the Bible says that love does not brag. No. It is not proud. That means you should be grateful for the things you do have, but never use them to make others feel bad or to show off. What would you do if you found out that someone in school had an embarrassing secret? Most people like to hear embarrassing things because they think they are funny. But what about the person you are laughing at? The Bible says, love does not dishonor others, which means we shouldn't make fun of people or make them look bad. What would you do if you got a huge candy bar, but your brother or sister asked if you would share. It can be hard with brothers and sisters. Usually they are the ones that we have the hardest time with. But God says that love is not selfish. So you should think of others more than yourself. What would you do if someone pushed you? You, you may want to push them back and say something mean. But God says, love is not easily angered. If someone stole your toy and, and broke it, would you forgive them? Forgiveness is a hard thing for everyone. But we are still called to be forgiving. The Bible says that love does not remember wrongs done against it. If you broke something at home, would you tell your parents it was you? Or would you blame it on someone else? Who likes getting in trouble? Not me. But it does not mean it is okay to tell a lie. No, it is not. The Bible tells us that love is never happy when others do wrong. But it is always happy with the truth. Children, the Bible has a whole truth to teach us about love and how to love one another. It's not the yucky, mushy, gushy kind of love. It's the love that makes others just as important as you are. It's the love that gives, that serves, and that spreads the joy of God and hope. And this love never fails. This week, remember to share love. Remember to show love to the people around you. At home, at school, in your community. Remember to love them. Because God commands us to love one another. Join me again as we sing John chapter 15 verse 12. This is my commandment that you love one another and your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another that your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. That your joy may be you love one another that your joy may be full this is my commandment that you love one another that your joy may be full that your joy may be full that your joy may be full